children. So, we have completed our first chapter. Next, we are going to study our second chapter that is nutrition in animals. Now, you have already studied about different types of nutrients that we get from food. Which are the different nutrients? Carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, minerals, etc. Okay? These are the different components of food. Right? We will get these components from different food that you have already studied in the lower classes. Right? Next, in this chapter, you are going to study about nutrition in animal and it includes different ways of taking food. Did all animals intake food in same way? No, they are not. There are different method of taking food. Bees, hummingbirds, etc. suck their nectars of the flowers. Alle hummingbird um bees ok inda chiyya. Nectars collect ya. Suck ya dadukka chiyya. Right? Then what about snakes like pythons? They will swallow their prey. Avarite bakshanam so, there are different way of eating or feeding. Next, next we can study how starfish feed. Starfish feed on animals covered by hard shells of calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate rich itala hard shells. Ulla animals liyane starfish feed ya. How? They will pop out, pops out their stomach to the this shelled animals. Pops out means it will insert their stomach to the open shell. Open shell leke our stomach pop out chayum. Then it will take that animal and get away. Then the stomach goes back into the body. Our animal, starfish, uh, shell into little, small animal, ne, a small animal. Adine digest slowly it will goes back into the body. The stomach will goes back into the body and get slowly digested. Stomach, starf, uh, shell, uh, starfish in there. Stomach pop, pops out chain the one it lay. A shell in the lake pops out chain the same at the food that animal the in uh, the animal present in that shell it will get into the stomach. Stomach leg it thicker in yalanda chia. A stomach a shell in the port means other goes back to the body of starfish and from that stomach. It will slowly digest it. Hope all of you understood it. Next one is digestion in human body. From where the digestion process start in human body? The digestion of human body starts from its mouth itself. First of all, we intake the food, right? We take food to our mouth. From mouth, we chew it thoroughly with the help of sal saliva secreted by salivary glands. It gets mixed with saliva and partially digested food will move through esophagus and then reach to stomach. 
there are different parts took part in digestion of human beings first and foremost is mouth from mouth it goes to stomach through esophagus or food pipe esophagus is also known as food pipe and stomach from stomach it will goes to small intestine and then goes to large intestine after it goes to rectum and through anus the undigested food is ejected and liver pancreas and salivary glands are the glands which are included in the digestive system so which are the parts included included in the digestive system of human beings mouth esophagus or food pipe salivary gland stomach pancreas liver small intestine large intestine rectum and anus now we can we can study in detail mouth is also known as buccal cavity let's find out the function of mouth and teeth okay the food is taken into the body through mouth the process of taking food into the body is called ingestion listen there are several process took place in the process of digestion the first process is ingestion the taking of food into our body that is called ingestion the process of digestion starts from mouth itself when we chew food with the help of teeth it break down mechanically into small pieces when we are having food we have to chew it right we will chew due, due to that action bigger food particles is broken down into small parts and with the help of saliva the food is mixed thoroughly and it passes through esophagus and it will reach to stomach the food will pass very slowly through food pipe or esophagus vallare padake maatre food pipe lude food povulu okay how many types of teeth are there in your mouth there are different teeth and they have different functions also in an adult there are four types of teeth that is incisors canine premolars and molars incisors is used to tear it tear na katchi parkya right canine canine teeth are used for eating flesh like that premolars is used to chew premolars and molars are normally used for chewing purpose grinding it grind the food thoroughly all of you understood then next is we have to find the influence of saliva on food for that you have to take two test tube in one test tube you have to take unchewed food that means raw food which is not chewed from the mouth take another test tube and take some chewed food that means food mixed with saliva and put some iodine solution to it we can see in one test the tube it is blue black color what does it mean it means that they contain starch right but in case of chewed food if we 
put 2 or 3 drops of iodine solution, there is no color change. Why? Because with the help of saliva, this carbohydrate is converted into sugar. All of you understood? Next one is different taste we can identify with our tongue. There are four different tastes we can identify with our tongue. The tip, tip of the tongue we can sense sweet, sweet taste. Just back at the both side we can feel salty. Then again back we can feel sour taste. Sour means pratyaga taste. Then at the back side you can taste bitter that is kaipirasam. Well, if you understood. Next, next we are going to study about the functions of food pipe or esophagus. As you all know once we have eaten or chewed food as swallowed it will move through a pipe called food pipe. It passes through esophagus. It gently contracts and relaxes. The food pipe run along the neck and the chest. Food pipe run along the neck and chest. The food is pushed by a movement of the walls of food pipe. Food pipe in the movement of the food choose the food there is a special type of muscular movement in food pipe when a food is moving uh, through that food pipe. Food pipe will the food move there will be a special type of movement. Then have you ever vomit when we eat some food? Have you ever vomit at that instant itself? Have you think about it? Why? Why does it occur? If you have eaten the food right now, then vomits it's that time itself. What happened? Why? When the stomach did not accept the food we eat, it will reject soon. So we are vomiting. Okay? Next is the stomach. Next part of digestive system is stomach. Stomach is a thick walled bag. Its shape is like flattened J and it's, it is the widest part of elementary canal. The shape of stomach is flattened J and it is the widest part in elementary canal. Elementary canal the widest part on the stomach. Sorry, the one part of the stomach attached to food pipe and other part is connected to small intestine. The inner part of the stomach secretes mucus, hydrochloric acid and digestive juices which enhance the process of digestion. Digestion process enhanced GM and it, it will secrete mucus, digestive juices and hydrochloric acid. The function of hydrochloric acid is to uh, kill the bacteria that enters to our body through food. Bakshana til uda namada sharira til enter chayinna bacteria asana kill chayyana ladana stomach secrete in the hydrochloric acid in the function. Due to the presence of this hydrochloric acid, the medium of stomach will be acidic. And this helps, dige helps the digestive juices to act on the food. The acidic nature of stomach helps the digestive juices to act upon it. The digestive juices break down proteins into simple, simpler substances. Digestive juices break down proteins into simpler substances. Next is small intestine. We have covered mouth and buccal cavity, esophagus, stomach. Right? 
Next is small intestine. It is very important part of digestive system. It is a coiled, highly coiled and is about 7.5 meters long. 7.5 meter long highly coiled dietary structure on a small intestine. It receives secretions from liver and pancreas besides its walls also secrete juices. Liver and pancreas are digestive juices. Every day small intestine. Besides these juices, the walls of small intestine will secrete its own uses. Liver is a reddish brown gland situated at the upper part of the abdomen on the right side. Now, the right side is the abdomen upper part of the reddish brown gland on the liver. It is the biggest gland in our body which secretes bile. Liver secretes bile and it's stored in gold bladder. Bile juice is stored in gold bladder. The bile plays an important role in the digestion of fats. Bile juice secreted by this liver plays an important role in the digestion of fats. The pancreas is a large cream colored gland located just below the stomach. Stomach is just below the pancreas located in the. The pancreatic juice act on carbohydrates, flat, fats and proteins and change it to simpler form. Pancreatic, pancreatic juice act upon carbohydrates, proteins and fats and make, the into, make them into smaller particles. The partially digested food now reaches the lower part of intestine. Partially digested it like uh, small intestine like ethia food almost partially digested anna. that will now enter to lower part of the small intestine. During that time the carbon dioxide broken down into sugar such as glucose. Fats will be converted into fatty acids and glycerol. Proteins is converted into amino acids. Children, it's very important. Please note that carbohydrate is converted into sugars like glucose. Proteins are converted into amino acids. Fats are converted into fatty acids and glycerols. Next, we have to study about the absorption. Absorption in the small intestine. Small intestine digest, uh, partially digested food engine absorption. Let us see. The digestive food can now pass into the blood vessels in the walls of intestine. There are so many blood vessels in the walls of intestine. That will enhance the absorption or intake of this undigested food. These blood vessels intake the digested food. This process is called absorption. We have already studied ingestion. The second process is absorption. The inner walls of small, small intestine have many finger like structures which finger like outgrowths that are called villi. Its singular is villus. It increases the surface area for absorption of the digested food. This villi will increase the surface area for the digested for the absorption of digestion digested food. Digested food in the absorption enhancing this villi. The villi increases the surface, surface area which surface area for absorption of digested food. Each villi has a network of thin and small blood vessels close to its surface. The absorbed food 
Absorbed uh, substances are transformed by blood vessels. Blood vessels it will go to different parts of bo our body. This blood will carry this nutrients to different part of our body. Namala body lilla different parts lakum. Namala kai kinna food in the nutrients blood vessels. The duty is to blood vessels. From the different organs, when the smaller particles which we got from digested food, when it reaches to different organs, they used to build complex substances. Different organs will used to build complex substances such as proteins required to our body. Digested food like components usage to proteins I convert to you. And that process is called assimilation. In the cells, glucose bring down in, with the help of oxygen into carbon dioxide and water. Cell, our body cells, glucose is converted into, is break down into carbon dioxide and water with the help of oxygen. The food that remains undigested are absorbed, the food remains undigested and unabsorbed endos to large intestine. Next, the food which is not digested and which is not absorbed, that will endorse to large intestine. Next, we can study about the function of large intestine. From there, importance of la large intestine. Large intestine is not la that much long. It is only 1.5 meters long. It is wider and shorter than small intestine. Small intestine is almost 7.5 meters long. The function of large intestine is to absorb water left in undigested food and some salt also, water and some salt in the digest, undigested food. The remaining waste will go to rectum and fecal matter is removed through anus from time to time. This, project, this process is called ejection. Then what are the process included in digestion of food? Ingestion, absorption, assimilation, and ejection. All of you got it? Then next we are going to study about digestion in grass eating animals. Have you ever noticed that cows or goat, buffaloes, etc. are chewing continuously? Have you ever noticed that? Why, why they are continuously chewing? Maybe there will be no food with, in front of them. Even though they are chewing continuously. Have you think what is the reason for that? It's because when these animals get food, it will swallow it very fastly and keep that partially digested food in a area of stomach called rumen. Rumen no parna oru part leke, stomach in the rumen no parna oru part leke, even a pet in the swallow chain of food, okay, keep you. After that, a process of a kainyal, they will collect it back. The things that is stored in rumen are called cuts, okay. After some time, it will take it from the, the cut will be taken back to the mouth and it will chew it properly. Adhinishesh and a proper digestion process is start here. And this process is called a taking back of, back of uh, cuts to mouth is called rumination. And those animals do these processes are called ruminants. Have you know, grass is a rich source of cellulose. 
Cellulose is a type of carbohydrate in which human beings cannot digest it. Then how these animals can digest it? The rumen, session of stomach, rumen have certain bacteria which can digest cellulose. These grats eating animals stomach contains certain bacteria which can digest this cellulose. Animals like horse, rabbit, etc. have a large sac like structure called cecum between esophagus and small intestine. Small intestine deum, esophagus in deum, edeke, cecum no parnita, or a small sac like structure, a large sac like structure under. The cellulose of the food is digested here by the action of certain bacteria which are not present in humans. Humans are present in the bacteria it will uh, help in the digestion of cellulose. Next is feeding process, uh, feeding and digestion of amoeba. Amoeba is a unicellular organism and it is microscopic. We can't see it naked with naked eyes. It is microscopic, that is, we have to look through microscope. amoeba feed in Now we are going to study that. If it see any food nearby, it will push us. It will push us out one or more finger like projection. Our amoeba the body in a finger like projection push you. And that is called pseudopodia or false feet. And it will cover that food and engulf. Engulf means ulileki velichirka. Okay, engulf it to cytoplasm. And the food become trapped or trapped in a food vacuole. Food vacuole no barna or uh, thing under. Adi lake it trap you. And from there, with the help of digestive juices, it get digested. And the undigested food is ejected, ejected through food vacuole. Ejected outside by the vacuoles. Undigested food is ejected by the vacuoles. The basic process of digestion and ejection are same in all organism. Later you can find the difference digestive process in different animals. By this we have come to an end of this chapter. Then what we have discussed in this chapter, we have discussed about the different parts included in digestive system of human beings. It includes mouth and buccal cavity, esophagus, stomach, large intestine, small intestine, rectum and anus and glands, salivary glands, liver, pancreas which secretes digestive juices. And we have studied about the uh, digestion in grass eating animals, rumination, ruminants and last we have studied about feeding of amoeba. Hope all of you understood it. If you have any doubt you can call me. Thank you.